All the way back in 1891, the Carling Curry Cup landed on South African shores, setting off a generational battle for rugby supremacy in our land. In 2022, we go again, kicking off the season here in Mbombela, home of the new nation Pumas, who host the reigning, defending champions, the Vodacom Bulls. Home team scrum are holding up well enough for now. But can they get it to the back? Not tidily so. Pressure's on. Papir is in. One or two loose balls there, but no knock-ons. And Ambrose Papir was the one who was paying the most attention. Needed to come out there. I don't know if Willy Engelbrecht is going to have to pick it up, perhaps, and take it forward. They're under a world of pressure, the new nation Pumas, and Ambrose Papir does very well to be the first to react. Well, under stacks of pressure and undoubtedly not being helped by the new directive of the referees to make sure the ball's coming straight into the mouth of the scrum. Should they capitalize on this attacking opportunity? Arnu Bota straight up the guts, and now it's Norkia again. Breaking to the open side, over the line for the try, the Vodacom Bulls. Arnu Puerta, so dangerous, five meters from the line, does well to recycle and fearless. Ruan Nokia, the tallest man on the pitch. Chris Smith. Over it goes once more, the metronome is ticking again. Crowd is into that. Tina Stabir spreading into the back line through the hands of Fushir. Sh shaking off the defender was the Clark. And the Pumas have the bit between their teeth all of a sudden ripped in the contact, but the knee was down to ground. Offsides, in fact, is the ball. Stabir. Another one straight over the posts. 12 points to the Pumas, 12 points to Tinas de Beer. Ruan Norkia, always dependable in all areas of the game. And this rolling ball is off to a great start. The Pumas looking to absorb Vantage. the pressure, but it has not Number worked for them from whatsoever. The now the Vodacom Bulls are piling Again, numbers into this mall. Yep. And cynical fouls are now being committed by the Pumas. Breaking away is Khrubalar, believing in himself. He goes for the line and the arm is extended. Can you believe your eyes right now, Johan Grobelaar? There's only one man that believed he could make it to the line and he believed enough to get him there. That is brilliant from the young number two. Oh, that's as solid as it gets. That's as solid as it gets. Brilliant play from Johan Grobelaar. What strength. Okay, try. Second roll of the dice going up with confidence in the front. And now the Pumas have a chance to roll them all. They need to go back towards the open side. Klepu is directing them. Now they have a second shove opportunity. Do they have control of the ball at the back? Vodacom Bulls all over the place. We're heading under the sticks. Listen to the roar from the crowd. Number 17. Losing his... An absolute magical the feeling. Bind and collapsing it. Look, it's true grit shown by the Bulls in the rain, in that corner. Huge battle, but the Pumas stayed patient. They're in a low body position. They're pushing for the try line. And I think going Dile, Chadez when he gets it right. He's given away two penalties and a free kick since coming on, Makwadwana. Which will be frustrating, but he is, of course, one of the two main enforcers of this Pumas side along with Willy Engelbrecht, his captain. Tap and go from the Vodacom Bulls. Forward goes El Rachlo. Intimidating carry, and they're back at it again, over the line. Simple as you like, the Vodacom Bulls have got the muscle, they've got the try, and they secure the victory. Arnu Puerta, and as a, as a grounding, it does look like Arnu Puerta has ball in hand, but of course, the slow-mo showed us it was not that way, so try awarded.
What a battle. Great to see FDA and Bombela. At the end, Bulls 33, Pumas at home 19.